What's good, everybody? Welcome back to episode three, part three of The Walking Dead. Let's get into it. What is it? Yeah, Lily kind of pulled off with our uh, with our car. I should have not trusted her. I should have just kicked her out of the group right when we had the chance. But it's okay. We're good. I need something to break that. I need a bunch of force to break away all this rust and whatnot before I can pry anything free. Let's go find out how those. Fudge, we're gonna get out of here. Okay, we have to go. Let's check in here. Absolutely nothing. nothing. This is it. Instructions on starting the engine. Bam. Pages are gone. I can kind of see the indentations from the writing. Ooh. Let's go. Perfect. We some you can read it now? Yeah. Should be able to just follow the steps to get the engine on. Sounds good. So six... So we go down, down, up, up. So down, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, up. Let's Son go. of a bitch! Whatever you did, lit the dash up. So far, so good. A five, halfway, then down. Now we're talking. Did I do it? I did. Now let's go outside to this one. I feel amazing. I feel smart. No, don't. Come on. Okay, here we go. We check the notes. So, left, right. Left. Right. I think we got it. Holy shit! We're golden! Yeah, we are. Golden. Man, it feels good. Let's fucking enjoy this. Come on, let's see if she'll move. Let's go, let's go, let's see if she will move. I bet she will. It's all yours. Damn it. Of course, we're still attached. Can you go find out where we're stuck? And get us unstuck? Yeah. Let's get out of here. Come on.
We're still stuck right here. Oh, we got it. There. Hey, Kenny, we're loose. You touch any of my stuff? Boy, who the hell are you? Show him. Show him. for where name's Chuck Charles if you fancy Lee that your crew outside yeah and the guy up in the cab him too I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you what but I couldn't force myself to do it you're still kind of freaking me out <laughs> I ain't do that already met everyone outside they all warm to me right quick in direct sunlight. That's funny. You met Chuck? Yeah, I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. He gave us candy, Ben too. <laughs> He's like, yeah. Welcome. Thank you. You met Kenny? Sure did. Man shares my love of the road. That's for certain. <coughs> I'm awful sorry your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. And I can offer y'all whatever I got. Although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on that? Uh... Stay with us. We'd like the company. Kenny's right. This dude kind of sketch. So that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. Want a ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. Haven't found anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Duck's sick. Get on the train, Clementine. Getting sicker. Let me look at him. We can't ignore this. Look at the kid, Kenny. This is happening. Ain't shit happening. And if it were, what can we do here? We get on the train and we find something better. That is the plan. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through. Get on, cat. I'll be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going. That's not good. Maybe Larry was partially right. I mean,
gotta be hard on you, eh? Three adults taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. <laughs> There were more of us. Dad, get him. No. Ah, living got him. Lee. Lee, I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What's up? Would you get that off his face? My hands are full here. <coughs> Thank you. Could you just get that off his face, please? He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. Jeez. Bro, what if he turns like in that box car? Stop the train. Kenny. What? Ken. What the hell's that? Your son's blood. Get out of here, Lee. You know he's dying. Uh -oh. Nobody knows shit. He'll be fine. Sorry, I shouldn't talk like that right now. Go back there and tell my wife everything will be fine. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. You're in denial. And you've given up on Duck, on everyone. Stop it, goddammit. Fuck you, Lee. You're gonna listen. Or what? the hell is wrong with you but you need to lock it up be a man here oh you want a piece of me is that it i just want to talk Ken. relax then talk you couldn't save herschel's son then and you can't save duck now shut your mouth so you're running like a coward <laughs> Uh -oh. You best chill out, boy. I told Kaja I'd get you to stop this, and you bet your ass I'm gonna. Don't give a fuck that we don't get along. I'm not letting you do this to Cat and Duck. You want to hurt people because you're afraid. Losing duck ain't enough for you. Because you're fucking lose everything acting like this. I'll fucking kill you before I let that happen. been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. What do you mean? I... I... Gotcha. 
It's time to... Oh, this is not possible. What are we going to do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if... What if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Cap. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. Just drift off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know. But we know it's here or nothing. Oh, fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No. It should be a parent. No parent would have to do something like this. He's right, Cat. We can say our goodbyes and just let that be it. I don't know. Lee, you'd be doing this family a great service. Why don't we take him into the forest so Clementine doesn't have to see? Yeah. Give us a moment to say goodbye. Of course. Oh yeah, you can see him turning. You can see his eyes. Bro, this is sad, bro. What's happening? Duck is dying. I know. What are you doing? I'm putting him out of his misery. Imagine I gave her that straight up answer. I'm killing him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, Clem. No. Are... What the? No! Ben, take Clementine into the train. Go. It'll be fine. Uh oh. Oh. Get, get, gotcha. Why, cat, honey? Oh, fucking god. <laughs> Oh my god. I... I... Can we not help her? What do we do? Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. Sorry, duck.
Tom? Uh-uh. You uh, understand what happened? Yes. Okay. What do you think it's about? What Chuck said. What Chuck said? That what happened to Duck would happen to me. The fuck he did. Swear. Sorry. I'm gonna talk some sense into him. Don't be mad. Hey. How you doing? What reason you had for doing it? No reason to go and tell my girl she's gonna end up dead. No, she is. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. But y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? We find a boat. You think that's a new idea? You got even the foggiest idea about where you're gonna find one of those. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. She's a little girl. And she'll die a little girl if you treat her like one. You gotta consider her a living person. That's it. You're either living or you're not. You ain't little, you ain't a girl, you ain't a boy. You ain't strong or smart. You're alive. Look at her hair. You got her running around with a mop that's gonna act like Velcro to any hand swinging its way. Find some scissors in my pack and take care of that hair before a walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun. Because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. He's not I wrong. I'll tell you how to do your job. But too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plan, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. Shot the kid, you know. I suppose someone had to. What a mess. You said it. You have any family? Out there, somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past, oh, 14 years now. I'm sorry to hear that. No one to blame. Be safe up here. You betcha. Good to get to the water. I wanted to talk to you about keeping my past from you all. Doesn't matter a lick to me. Fuck. Just gotta move forward. He's mourning right now. You can tell. Mind if I get by you for a second, Kitty. Can you just leave me alone? Hey. Yeah. Are there any maps up here? I don't know. I just uh, want to look over one with Clem so she has a lay of the land once we get to Savannah. You mind if I look in there for a second? I really wish he'd just leave me alone. I'll go. He needs the space. To him? I did. He had some, uh, he explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you. 
But there are some precautions we have to take. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay. What should we do? Well, we're gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and, uh, tidy up a little. So you can't get grabbed so easily. I'd like that. Good. You need to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Got <laughs> it. I mean with one of these. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. The aim. You look right down the top, through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? I know these are just bottles. But you have to aim for the head. I know. Only the head. Unless it's not a walker and it's someone trying to hurt you. And then? Head or body. Anywhere. I don't want to think about that. You're right. It might be a lot for your first day. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Good. Don't lock your elbows. Okay. Let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Are you okay? <laughs> what was that? I don't like this. That was funny. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yeah, you do. Close. Now keep it steady. Okay, a little higher. Steady now. Almost got it. Close. Now keep it steady. Okay, aim a little bit more to the left. Aim a little higher. Close. Now keep it steady. Lower. Boom. I got it. Excellent. Good shot. Unlock the elbows. Oh. Back right. to the right. I okay, a little higher. more to the left. Aim a little higher. Steady now. Almost got it. Okay, a little higher. Aim more to the right. Aim a little higher. more to the left. A little bit lower. Mm. There you go. Nice. I did it! Yeah, you did. Good job. Popping off. I pretended they were walker heads. Good. Just like he should. They're not walkers, though. No, far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay, I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh-uh. That's it, everybody, for episode three. Come back for next episode. And yeah. Hope you all have a good day. Peace.